The poultry industry is one of the most important and the most fastest growing food industries in India and around the world. With increased day by day population, the demand for quality animal protein is increasing. But as every quality products make, there is a proper procedure to be followed in anything in order to arrive at its final outcome. And the poultry industry is no different. So today we are going to be looking at how we as lighting manufacturers and suppliers can step in and help the poultry industry. Now us humans have retinas inside our eyes and so do chickens. But the difference between us and chickens is that we are way more or less sensitive to these lights. But chickens they perceive light totally differently. And each characteristic of light has an effect on chicken growth, how they behave and eventually their final outcome. So let's take a look at three main factors on how light plays a role right from a chicken's infantry stage to its fully developed stage. So as I mentioned earlier, birds perceive light through retina and their extra retinal photoreceptors. So each color has a different psychological effect on each chicken. For example, blue and green light have a more calming effect on birds. So blue light is responsible for sitting, idling, sleeping, it reduces cannibalism, uh, it increases muscle growth among elderly chicken and green light is responsible for drinking, dust bathing and muscle growth for younger chickens. And now on the contrary, red light is responsible for walking, flying, head movement, leg stretching, reproduction, flapping and all sorts of aggressiveness. So, so in short, it seems like blue and green light are responsible for growth and red and orange shade lights are responsible for reproduction, aggressiveness and all sorts of activities along those lines. UV lights also play an important role in a chicken's infantry stage. It is responsible for improving its walking ability like how a newborn baby learns to walk, fear responses, uh, what should happen for a chicken to fear and the overall chicken's welfare at its infantry stage. So now that we have seen each chicken's activity when exposed to a specific color, now comes the part on how bright they should be and how long they should be on and off. So uh, according to research, if your light is bright, as in if the lux level is more, the more will be the activity associated to each color. If your lux level is less and the brightness is less, the activity will also be less depending on the color you choose. So that seems to be the norm. Now this can be easily achieved using dimmers uh, our light comes with dimmers and uh, depending on the activity that you want the chickens to be undertaking you can control the brightness using dimmers or also using apps. The duration of how long a light must be on is also an important factor. Now here's a breakup table on how long a light should be and a split up 24 hour breakup. Now for time's sake, I'm not going to be delving into too much details on what happens during each stage. But if you want to know, you're always free to contact us. We will provide you exclusive all out information. So it's quite clear that a well-programmed lighting system can take you far and produce more quality outcome uh, in terms of your production. If you own a poultry farm and if you're interested in incorporating uh, lights, uh, an automatic well-programmed lighting system, please feel free to contact us and here's our contact details.